This is amazing. Okay, we're still, we're somewhat together. Are we missing, how many are we missing right now? Is there somebody under me? Oh, there's one above us. How in the heck did he get there? I hope his bomb doesn't hit us. Let's see if we can release the barrels here. Is it four? There you go, the barrels. Oh, that is so cool. And release. Oh, that is cool. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, we're just over it now. We can actually move his eyes. Or actually, move everything. I think we can make his eyes separate here a little bit, too. There you go. It's angry eyes. <laughs> Hello YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of what? What are you guys doing? Anyways, hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes, and yes folks, your eyes are not deceiving you. I am in a uh, bomber squadron right now, and that one bomber behind me is getting a little too close for comfort. So yeah, we're going to be checking out some really cool creations here today in Simple Planes, and we're going to start off with this one here. Now you're probably asking yourself, if you're not familiar with this, how are we doing this? Well, I'm actually controlling this plane right here in front of us, and this plane is actually uh, causing all the other planes to move. So my exact movements, so say I'm going to sit here and throttle up, and oh, we just lost one in the water down there. Uh, we're going to have to reset the squadron, but... Anyways, every time I move, the other planes move, so they mimic my exact movements. Uh, they'll do everything, basically, except for drop their bombs on their own. Uh, you have to use the action groups for that. So I thought, man, we could have some fun with these planes and this squadron uh, doing some different bombing runs, uh, maybe doing some kamikaze attacks, because I don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, hopefully well, but yeah. We're going to be doing that here today. I've got a ton of other cool creations to check out. If you want to download anything, it'll be down in the description. And if you're enjoying Simple Planes on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's jump right into this. All right, so here we go. Uh, is everybody here? I don't know why that one keeps blowing up, but we look good now. All right, so let's go ahead and throttle up. So we're going to do something here. Uh, a lot of you guys love to see me harass this fleet out here. And we've never done something like this. I mean, we are about to run a full-blown bombing run on them. Now, I do wish that Simple Planes had more ground targets. They have really just the AA tanks, but I would love for there to be some more buildings to hit on the ground because this could be fantastic uh, doing this. We need more bases. I don't know, is there more mods for that? I need to find those. But anyways, uh, we're going to run a standard bombing run, and then I think we're going to run possibly a kamikaze attack. Because watching all these planes crash into the fleet could be absolutely awesome. So, you're asking yourself, how does this work? I can actually, uh, I've got four bombs here. I can manually drop mine, but I have to tell them by the action keys down here to drop theirs. So, I really wish there was a bomb camera here. We're gonna, we're gonna go for the front carrier here and hope that this works. This is amazing. Okay, we're still, we're somewhat together. Are we missing, how many are we missing right now? Is there somebody under me? Oh, there's one above us. How in the heck did he get there? I hope his bomb doesn't hit us. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get ready. And tilt to the left a bit. All right, we are going to go ahead and start dropping bombs. Let's go ahead and tell the others, drop all bombs. Bombs are being released. All right, did we hit anything here? I can see them. Oh, looking for hits. Come on. Oh, that might be a direct hit with the... Oh, yes, direct hit. We hit the aircraft carrier. All right, let's make sure we're full throttle here. We're going to get hit with flak. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a good run. I actually think some of their bombs caught it, too. Uh-oh. 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 No. No, hold on to it. Okay, can we make it back to the land? Oh, can we make it back to shore? Okay, I don't want to die out here on the mission. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're going for an emergency landing in the water here. Uh, where's everybody else at? Oh, everybody else is already noped out of here. They're like, nah, we're good, brah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, keep pulling up. Let's try to decrease the throttle. I would actually like to see if we can land this and survive. Oh! Well, that answered my question. Um, maybe there's somebody still in the front of that. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure they got ejected. And, oh! Well, we did a pretty good bit of damage there. That is an awesome creation. All right, I got another plant. Where did everybody else go? Did they, yeah, they really just booked out of here, didn't they? Yeah, they're gone. 
All right, well, uh, I got another plan here. What happens if we run a kamikaze attack on the fleet? All right, here we go. Huh, how do we want to hit these? Okay, am I, I'm at the lowest altitude right now, so I'm going to be like the first contact here. Uh, let's aim for the front. They look like they're a little bit more stacked up through here. So if I hit like the mid one here, they should come in and hit the others. Here we go. Okay, we're going to swoop up. All right, swoop straight down here. Uh, uh. <gasps> oh, oh, we got another hit. Okay, it was only two hits. Wow, we really just ricocheted off those. You know, with bombs attached and everything, you figured that would be a lot more effective. I mean, I just ran into the side of a ship, and same with the uh, the one that was in front of me, and yeah, they didn't go off. It's almost as if we need to release our bombs as it's all happening. Maybe that's what we're going to do. Okay, we're going for a little bit different approach this time. We're going for high altitude, and then we're going to dive down into them. I think that's going to work better, Han. Let's go camera. Oh, there's 16 cameras on this? Wow. Alright, uh, we're looking pretty good here. Let's go and activate action groups, air to grounds. All right, here we go. Let's start our descent. Okay. I think I can release mine with the action groups, too. Let's go for a little bit of a swoop. Action groups, release. Here we go. Release all bombs. Okay, coming down for a hit. Uh, oh, oh, we're getting hit. We're getting hit. Uh, boom! <laughs> I don't know if anybody else actually hit there. They might have overshot it, but... Yeah, it's kind of amazing that planes have almost zero effect on aircraft when you run into them, especially something big like that. I mean, not aircraft, uh, watercraft, uh, but we did manage to hit the back half with our bombs there. That is a cool creation. I kind of would like to see more of those style creations. Uh, maybe something with, like, rocket pods on it. Could you imagine, like, a whole squadron of fighters just load it down with pods? That would be insane. But anyways, I think it's time to move on to the next creation. Alright, so this is the AN-125. It's the Anthony. Is that an actual name of the craft, or is that a, maybe the name of the creator? Uh, this is a huge cargo plane. Now, yes, that does come loaded down with a vehicle in there. I don't know if we can drive that vehicle or not. I know we can release it. So, here's orbit view, camera one, two. Okay, here's the camera of the vehicle. Three, it's got some barrels in the back. I'm assuming we can drop those too. Now, these are all by the action group here. Hold on, let's go ahead. Ooh, cockpit. Hey, it's actually got a cockpit. Wait. Oh, the nose is in the way. That's what it is. Okay, let's go ahead, go out to here. Let's hit the one group. Okay, two group. Um, three group. There's a release for the vehicle. Can we drive the vehicle now? Uh, oh. Oh, it's like the bomber squadron. We're, we're controlling both of them. Okay. Could have swore one or two was the nose down. What was that? That was the barrels, wasn't it? Uh, oh, we got a bunch of loose items in us. Okay. Five, six, seven. Huh? Oh, gears just went down. Hey, look, the, the vehicle's rolling out. Hold on, does the vehicle go? Man, I really screwed this up. I could have swore one or two was the one that actually lowered the nose. Oh, there's a vehicle in there now. Oh, it's rolling around. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. oh, Komodo has screwed this up today. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, what's happening? This thing is speeding up. Oh, we're going to the ground. Oh, we're going down. All right. I'm going to read the instructions on that again, because I thought one or two actually closed and opened the nose. Alright, I got it. It is one and two to close the doors, but you have to pull the VTOL down, the controls. So we go this, then we close it. Okay. Alright, so we got the nose closed. We can deactivate that. Go to two, and there go the cargo doors. Okay. So officially, we are ready to actually take off here. Now, at any point, we can actually do, like, a drop mid-air of the, uh... Oh, let's raise those. Oh, does that, is that how that works? Hold on, let's go ahead and close these, deactivate that, and we're going to raise those flaps back up. There we go. So, at any point, I guess we can release the barrels in mid-air. I'd like to be able to release the car, but we saw how that went with the crash landing. Now, I must say, this thing feels like it's got some sort of power behind it. I mean, geez, we started to haul there. Oh, let's go ahead. Release, all right, go up. 
Oh, that's cool. Let's go and go. Landing gear up. This thing is extremely fast. Oh my. I've never seen a cargo plane this fast. Uh, I do have a new mod also installed that is the sound barrier mod. You should get a cone uh, when you break it. I don't know if we're going to break it in this one, but this is still, this is still pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go up. I think the sound barrier is right around, is it like 761 miles an hour? Uh, I don't see a cone. Of course, it could be an old mod and it doesn't actually work on all jets or all uh, aircraft here. But I could have swore that's what it is. Let's see. Yeah, it's 761 miles per hour. Uh, not seeing any cone. Still, we are, uh, we're are we booking it right now. Almost a thousand in a big cargo plane. Uh, I can see one of the islands down below us here. Let's go ahead and curve. That might be May. Is it Maywar? I can see it. Wow, we are making almost like record time here. Okay, yeah, here comes, uh, or is it Snowstone? I can't really tell. Uh, there's a little island over there. There's the main island. Actually, this might just be the other Yeah, no, this is just the other island uh, with Jaeger Airport, I believe. Uh, there's the carrier and the two destroyers down there, too. I can barely, you can barely make them out, but they're down there also. You know what would be really cool? If the, uh, the cargo had parachutes on it. I don't think they do. All right, so we are going to try to do a drop here. We're going to go ahead and activate our two key here. There goes our cargo doors. All right, I believe three is the car. Let's see if we can release the barrels here. Is it four? There go the barrels. Oh, that is so cool. What if we release the car? Do we think it will roll out the back? Okay, we're going to do that. Let's go release the car. Oh, we hit the back of the plane. It was working there for a second. It was going. I think we're moving definitely too fast to release that car. That was cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ah, oh, we're going down. We are going down. What? Hold on. Let's go ahead and make ourselves dizzy. What's the cockpit cam like? Uh, oh, no. That's the camera in it. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, here comes the flyby. Uh, I don't know if that's even going to be a flyby. Oh, here, there it is. You know, do you think if we, uh, if we try to maybe fly against it, this will work? Come on. Come on, steer into it. No, actually, steer away from it. I can't really tell what's happening right now, huh? No, yeah, pull up. Pull up, we're going down. Okay, oh dear. Oh dear, how close are we to the ground? We are still not even close to the ground, it feels like. Wait, are we? No. We're raising altitude right now. We're not even going down. Hold on, let's just kill the motor. That is a, that's a crazy craft. I'm still not giving up on uh, being able to drop that vehicle though. So I'm gonna go reset this and we'll just have to go a lot slower. All right, so we're going at a much more reasonable pace here. So let's go ahead. All right, I think we're in a decent position. We need to release our uh, other bit of cargo here. Let's go and get rid of the barrels. Uh-oh, <gasps> ooh, they're not explosive, are they? Wait, what are those barrels? Are they explosive? Hold on, I see them hit the ground there. Uh, oh, they do explode. Oh, I'm glad those didn't actually collide with us. Okay, so let's go ahead and decrease even more altitude. Let's go down to about 15%. Going a little bit more of an easy glide. Okay, let's go ahead, switch the camera. I wanna see this actually happen. Okay, here we go. We're gonna release the truck. Oh, it got stuck, come on. Uh oh, on. Uh oh, what's going on here? I can't see. Uh, come on, truck. I is the door not open enough? Hold on, let's uh. Come on, come on. Oh, the door's open. Okay. Oh, we need to, we need to just kind of swing it loose here. Come on, truck. I think the truck's really meant to go out the front. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Kill it, kill it. Okay, it's our flaps here that are really throwing us off. Okay, I'm aimed directly down. I think it's warped or it's stuck. It's stuck right now. On oh, there it goes. It's it's loose. No, no. Now the top, the front of it's stuck. Oh, it is not meant to go out the back of this. Oh, I can already tell you that right now. Oh boy. All right. All right. Yeah, there's no way to really drop that out. I mean, I guess you could try to see if you could drive it around. Oh, there we go. Now it's out. That is cool. I really enjoy creations like that in Simple Planes. Like, that is just so creative. I wonder if there's any more of uh, these. These are really awesome. I'd like to find some other vehicles 
Uh, let me double check real quick, make sure that truck doesn't work, but I believe it just releases. Alright, I can confirm that the uh, on the last creation, the truck did not drive on that. So, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. This is a Topol Missile Launcher. Now, you've probably heard of this on my channel several times. I know we played with one in Brick Rigs, I've made one in Scrap Mechanic, which was really just a loose uh, little rocket inside, clicked it and it would take off. It's really kind of awkward to do, but I'm hoping this one turns out a bit better. So, I know one is the button you want to hit to make things go boom, but we're going to wait on that. There is a engine button here. Is it? Uh, it's one of these. There it is, it's three. So we can actually drive this thing around. Now, is there really a way to slow this down? Okay, this does actually, whoa, this is not the thing you want to do when you have a rocket on board. You do not want to be jumping. Oh, uh, this thing's actually crazy fast for its size. Hold on, let's go ahead and turn here. Ooh, I wonder if we could hit the bridge. That could be amazing. Hold on, let's keep turning, keep turning. Uh, there's the bridge. Okay, we need to get an idea as to how this works and how accurate the, uh, how accurate the missile is. Oop, okay, so, I mean, that's pretty lined up with the bridge. Do we have a missile cam on this? There's orbit view, camera one, flyby. I'm assuming probably not. All right, let's go ahead to raise this. I think we start to go, oh, that works so good. Okay, let's go switch cameras one more time. I think this is the camera for the missile, so I, I think we can actually lock onto this. So I don't know if it's gonna take an arch or if it's just gonna go straight. If it goes straight, I think I need to go down just a bit. Let's go. Uh, maybe one click. Let's try this. All right, so we're gonna hit one here. I really hope this is attached to the missile. Here we go. Ooh. What? Oh! Oh, this is working! Oh, that was so delayed. Oh, what is that flickering? Oh! Okay, it does arch. All right, well, we've confirmed a couple of things. So when you launch it, you do have to actually uh, up your throttle. So you want to turn off the engines. Okay, I got it. I got this now. All right, Topol Missile Launcher attempt number two. Let's go ahead. A uh, little to the left here. That's lined up. Okay, so we want to aim over it a bit. So let's go ahead. We were one click last time, but we're a little bit close. So let's go two clicks. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead, make sure we're on the right camera. I do want to follow the missile. Camera one, there we go. All right, and release. Oh, that is cool. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, we're just over it now. How do we even change? Uh oh, whoa, whoa. That was a pretty good explosion. Huh, okay, so we have to really, uh, we're really gonna have to reposition the, the missile itself. Uh, because we, uh, that was just one more click on the actual raising part. All right, here we go. That's looking good. All right. Uh, here comes the launch. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking, it's gonna hit the pillar. <gasps> we hit the pillars. We did it. Oh, yes. We actually hit the bridge. I was hoping to hit the top of it, but hitting the pillars works too. That was cool. You know, I kind of want to launch this like a normal missile. Like a lot of times these are almost straight vertical when they launch. Uh, let's uh, do that one more time here. All right, so we're angling this up now. Let's go to about the, there. Uh, that's good. So that's going to keep its arch here. All right, so let's go ahead and throttle it up. Missile is prepared. Here we go. Uh, there we go. <gasps> oh, that is beautiful. That probably looks really frightening, huh? Let's try to get out a little bit. That is so cool. Oh, what kind of speed are we carrying with this? Uh, oh, it doesn't have a speed on it. It's actually, I guess, still registering down below. No, we're up at the clouds. All right, question is, where are we gonna end up here? Let's kill the throttle on it. Let's let it do its uh, thing. It should, it's gonna continue to climb here, but eventually this is gonna tip over. I'm gonna be curious if we land, uh-oh. No, it's tilting up. Wait, what is it doing? 
Are we floating? We might be floating, folks. Uh, I really wish I could see the altitude on this right now. No, we're definitely, uh, we're definitely still moving up. All right, so it's been about two minutes, and I don't think we've lost altitude. I, I feel like we're, are we suspend on, are we going down now? Uh, let's try to look at the clouds. No, I, I feel as if we're suspended with the rocket. <laughs> we might have gone too far, folks. Uh, we're going to another continent right now with this. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're not even, we're, we're not dipping. At least it doesn't feel like it. Like, the missile itself has stayed in this, like, same stance the whole time. It hasn't tilted forward, backwards. It's like it has no weight properties right now, and it's just done. Hold on, let's go ahead and activate the throttle again. Okay, activating the throttle. It speeds up. Okay, we're definitely still moving in the map because the clouds just sped up. Uh, but I can't actually get the rocket to go down. <laughs> on. No, nope, it's going to lock here. Watch, it'll stall out here in a second, and it won't actually point down. If I can get it to point down, I'll gas it, you know, and throttle it down, but I don't think this is going to happen. Nope, we're locked down once again. <laughs> That's an amazing creation, but I, I guess we better move on to the next one because... Wait, is there an explode button? Uh, let's just double check. No, I don't see one. I can't make it blow up in air. All right, let's move on to the next creation. All right, folks, we're going to end this on a little bit of a lighter note here today. So we have a very awesome creation. Uh, this is from a movie. A lot of you guys probably already know what this is. Uh, this is Wally. -E, so what Wally -E can do, I believe we need a VTOL up. Oh, there he is. That's so cool. Okay, let's turn that off. There we go. Yes, it's Wally. -E. Uh, this was a actually a really cool movie. I, I don't normally like movies like this, but I definitely will take this movie. So yeah, he's a little uh, garbage compactor. I believe he fully works. He's actually got are those tank tracks. Do those actually function? Okay, I don't know if I've ever seen those before. All right, let's go to group one. Group one's gonna be his moving. Oh, what was that? Oh, what is that sound? That sounds so weird. So uh, Wally's tracks have a very unique sound to them. Now, uh, Wally does turn. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he actually turns pretty fast. That is so cool. Like, how did somebody actually make this? All right, so uh, your other groups here, we can deactivate that. That should kill his motor. The other groups, he does fully move around. So we go group two here. We can actually move his eyes, or actually move everything. I think we can make his eyes separate here a little bit too. There you go, it's angry eyes. <laughs> it's Wally angry eyes. He's like, well, he's perfectly fine. Well, he's sad. Well, he's angry. That's awesome. And I think group three is his arms so he can move. I don't know. If, does his little compactor open up? Oh, it does. Oh, that's so cool. We need like a little trash cube. Now, I know there's an Eva on the uh, Simple Blaine's website. We didn't actually grab that. We just grabbed Mr. Wally here, but I guess he could uh, try to compact Eva or something. I know it's kind of wrong. Does the compactor go down? No, I don't think it does. So let's go and put those back. Uh oh, did we break his door? Uh oh, it's okay, Wally. Just, just, just keep moving. There we go. I guess you can activate them all at once and try to just kind of, yeah, just make him. Oh, he just looks so angry. <laughs> He's just swinging his arms. Yeah, that's almost there. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we we destroyed Wally. <laughs> Wally just combusted. That was so wrong. Oh boy, that's that's awesome. Oh, let's reset it. All right, uh, Wally combusted. So let's go ahead and pop that. Oh, I need to actually up that. There we go. Deactivate that. There we go. Wally's back. I swear he's okay. Uh, everything's good. He's just gonna go forward here. There we go. Yeah, you know I've never really seen uh, tank tracks in Simple Blaine. So this is. Uh oh. Oh, you know I think it's his arms. Oh, we actually lost the tracks. That was cool looking. You know, it still works, though. It's got the little cog wheels down there. Yeah, it's still good. Uh, Mr. Wally. So that is a... It's just an awesome creation. I love playing around with this. But anyways, folks, I do believe we're going to end this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Simple Planes. If you want to see more of it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comments below what you want to see next here in Simple Planes. I'm hoping to still get some multiplayer going here soon. I want to play with some other people. I want to have, like, some dog fights. Picture it could be pretty fun. But yeah... Hope you guys have a great day and Wally just exploded again. And I guess we'll see you guys next time.